Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kaya Moore. I wanted to come on here and show you guys how I get volume, how I stretch my wash and go. I was just like, you know, I, I, gotta, I gotta show my ladies. I have to show you guys. It's so easy, so quick. You know how I am. I love to keep things simple for you ladies. And that's just what this video really is about. Enjoy this video. Oh, one more thing too. If you are not into frizzy hair, my hair's a little frizzy. I like it. It, it gives it a different um, look, more of a textured look. I love it. Oh, you guys, if you have not seen the wash and go video, please go and check it out. I am gonna put a link in the description box and I might just stick it right up here so you guys can click on it on how I achieved this. My hair was um, dry before I did this wash and go and I needed some, my hair needed some love. And what really, I'm gonna be real, what really keeps my hair or the reason why it's shining, I really believe it's that castor oil that I bought from the vitamin store. So I won't give too much of that video. Go ahead and check that video out. And I will catch you ladies on the next one. Bye. Okay, ladies, so anytime I'm getting ready to start with this volume process, I always add just a little bit of oil. And my favorite go-to light oil is the Hydrating Oil by Pantene. That is a staple. I always use it. I've been using it for a solid year now, and I love it. Oh, by the way, Happy New Year. Woo-hoo. <laughs> so... What I do is I like to fluff my hair out first with my fingers just to make sure I get as much um, volume just by doing that by itself. Then I take a few sections in between. I don't part them or anything. I just grab each section and I kind of gently stretch my hair out. And as you can see, look at that. My hair is already stretching. Now that blow dryer is on medium heat. the pick is optional you can do this method or use this technique without picking your hair at all the reason why I'm saying this is because I currently right now have another wash and go style in my hair and I did not use the pick at all and I still got the same results I think the only thing without using that pick is you have to um, let the blow dryer sit just a little longer if that makes sense so right here in this section you see how I got that blow dryer going just a little longer and I got more of that volume. See how it's a little more stretched in the back? That's all I did all the way around with no picking. So um, it's really up to you and what you prefer. But ladies, look how easy this is. So easy. This literally took me about 10 minutes, if that. And I just took each section and went over it. And that's how I got my hair to stretch. Look at that. Now you just want to continue using this same method all the way around, okay?
Okay, ladies, so I just set the blow dryer on a cool setting. This is just to shock my hair, basically just keep it in place. And it helps keep that moisture that's in my hair nice and locked and sealed. Okay, so that's pretty much it, ladies. Like, so easy, so easy. Try this method when you are done with your wash and goes. And yeah, I'll catch you ladies on the next one. Love you all.